Hi, it's Kathy from I Love to Be Selling. eBay just recently announced about how they are going to be making eBay more secure to comply with Google Chrome um, new security. And all of this is going to be happening in October. And it relates to what is called HTTP pages and HTTPS pages. This may not affect you at all. You may have nothing that's not compliant. So this is going to be just absolute nothing for you. Other people will need to take a look at this. Um, they might have video content um, that's impacted by this or links in their listing that's compliant with this. Or they might have issues because their photos are hosted on an HTTP site. So you go, well, OK, Kathy, what is this? What is this? What is HTTP and HTTPS? Um, it is the language that is in your listing. So the easiest way to find out if you have anything to be concerned about is you're going to click this iWaze tool that's in the announcement. And when you do, you're going to log in with your eBay username and ID. Once you do that, you're going to run a report and it's going to pull all your listings. And the categories are HTTPS, active content, and mobile friendly. And see here, these are not mobile friendly. But for this video, I'm concerned about the HTTPS content. And here's one that I'm getting blind on the HTTPS. So all you do is click details. It's like, OK, well, what's the problem? OK, some of the HTML, so that's the language that the listing's written in, are not HTTPS compliant. OK. And all you do is you can just click this, which is your listing. Now, if you have a bunch, if there's like rows and rows of red X's, you can do this in bulk edit. And I'll show you that in a minute. But let's say you just have a few. All you have to do is click the listing. Now, this listing has ended. But I'm going to scroll down and show you. It's because I have a link to a store category. So I need to change that. So we're going to pretend I'm clicking Revise. And we're going to scroll down. This is the description. You're going to click HTML. And the HTTP issue is in the link from my store. And see right here, you can look for the HTTP. You don't even need to be able to read HTML. Just look for it. And what I need to do is add the S. That's all I have to do is add an S. OK? And I have a link here. And that needs an S, too. And then I would click to confirm. And then it's done. And then what you can do once you've edited your HTTPS is you would update your report and see that everything is fine. Now, let's say when you run this, there's a bunch of red X's, a lot, a lot, a lot. So what you're going to do is go to Bulk Edit, and you're going to upload your listings. You may need to upload all of them, just 10 or 15, 50, whatever it is, you will upload your listings. Once you have uploaded the listings in the Bulk Edit, you're going to look at this Edit Fields. And what you're interested in is item description. You're going to click that. This is what is so handy. You're going to click Edit Listings in Bulk, Find and Replace. You're going to type in HTTP, and you want them to replace it with HTTPS. Save and Close. And then Submit Changes. And all of them will be fixed. Then you will come back to your iWays. And you will update your report. You will then look to see for this red X to go away. And let's say you just pretend that you had other red X's for them to go away. And that's how you do it. OK? so. Your HTTP might be pictures off site. That's a completely different issue. If it is links in your listing to your store or an eBay category, again, using the iWaze, 
you can find out which of your listings are not compliant with the new policy and you can edit them individually or through bulk edit with the find and replace. I used the find and replace. I edited over 500 listings. It took me three minutes. Okay, and those are my tips for you. I will put the links below for the announcement. In the announcement is the iWays tool, and then you're going to be all set. Also in this listing is if you have non-secure content that is not a list, excuse me, is not a link in your listing, they have this page, which you can click. So take a look at that, and that'll be about video, uh, cascading style sheets, externally hosted pictures. But for most people, you're going to see it's probably links that are in your listing, and you can fix them easy peasy, and it makes eBay more secure, makes us compliant with Chrome, and keeps our happy, happy buyers coming back to us. Um, please feel free to share this with people, um, and be sure to subscribe to my newsletter so you get all my tips. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Bye-bye.